This is a short video on how I service uh, oleos. This is specifically a Cessna 150, but it applies to just about anything with an oleo. Uh, so the first thing we do is we deflate the oleo by pressing down on the valve, uh, make sure there's no air in it. Then the next thing we do is we, uh, we loosen the, the Schrader valve and take it out. Now there's an AN 901-5A washer on here. Never reuse it. I always put a new one on. So I'm going to put the new washer on there and get it ready for when I reinstall it. Now I've made a little adapter here. I've turned down an AN fitting and I've put a an O-ring on there. So I screw that in. And then I've got a, uh, a one gallon jug with a hose in it with um, 5606 hydraulic oil in it. And uh, I just slide that over top of my fitting here. So I've put a sandbag on the tail and I'm gonna extend and uh, retract the nozzle and watch this plastic hose on here to see when it's clear. You can see it sucking oil in. So when that's clear, I know that it's fully serviced. Okay, now I'm just gonna take the weight off the tail and that'll compress it and, and, uh, and it will have the right amount of oil in the system. Okay, so I've got the weight off the tail. I'm gonna take the hose off. Being careful I don't make a mess. Put it over here. And then we'll take our adapter out. And I'm gonna put the Schrader valve back in with the new AN901 dash 5A aluminum washer. Okay, and I'm gonna snug that up. Nice and snug. Make sure the washer gets crushed, it won't leak. Then, I've got a, a hand pump here. A lot of guys use a nitrogen bottle and stuff, but I've got this hand pump that I use for my gun. I've got an air pellet gun, and uh, it's a lot more controllable than using the nitrogen. So I'll just screw this on here and you can see how easy it is. Oh, now let's count the pumps that this takes to get it up to the right height. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pumps and it's up to the right height. Maybe a little high, but I can let that down. So, anyway, I take that hose off there and I'll bounce it up and down a few times. Actually, I can do that right now just to see how it feels. Actually, it feels pretty good. It's slightly high. So I'll, uh, I'll just uh, tap that just a touch and take a little bit out, but I can feel that it's serviced properly now because of the way it bounces. 
So I let a little bit of air out because I put seven pumps in. I probably should have only put six in it. Uh, and you can put your foot on the, uh, the tire and pull down on it and watch the action. I can't pull it all the way down and it springs back up nice and slow. That's how you can tell it's serviced properly. Hope you find this helpful.